Welcome back team. In this video, we are going to learn how to initialize a list of type T. Now is a great time to subscribe. Please click on the subscribe button below. Let's learn how to initialize a list. A moment ago, I created the object called service code. Service code is a class object and it has two attributes code and description. My goal is I want to initialize a list of these and have values. So how would we begin here? Well, it's quite easy. We can say var codes equals that new class object, a list of them. Now for this list to work, make sure you include this using once we get our boilerplate in there, put dropping in new data is as simple as new, what's the class object called? Service code, and these are the two fields. Notice that we put a comma at the end, and when there's no more, we stop using commas. And that is how you initialize a list of type class. Another way that we can create a list is give the same boilerplate and notice that I've created a list. Now this list right now is empty, but can you imagine I have a form and then that form is going to give us the results. So it's very, very easy to say codes to add then the new list, which is quite nice. And then it's like a, you can just add these throughout your program. Now, if codes two is available globally, you know, you could have a form to keep populating these uh, service codes. Now to add several of these using that same method, it's quite simple. You just follow the same structure and notice that I have my one, two, and three, the same codes that I have in the first example. And that is the second example. In this next example, it's just another format. And the goal of each of these examples is to load a list, initialize the list of this type. So here I've created an object. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out and create an object of type service code. And notice I'm gonna say var c as service code and I'm gonna fill that in with data. Now I can come down there and say codes three dot add C. So this is pretty nice and it's very understandable of what you're doing. Now of course this is a lot more verbose than the other two methods I've shown but you know sometimes I use this method. You know programming is about usability and then you'll find out when you have to use one of these patterns. Now this gets a little bit more long-winded when we're having more than one entry and notice when I have like three entries, this takes up quite a bit of code. And notice here, I don't say var again because I'm going to reuse the C. And here I've got a two and three. Notice that takes up 34 lines of code, which is a lot. But you know, the goal is that could have been a method. I hid that away. And you know, like when I'm using this program, it doesn't matter how the data gets in there. Is the data there? In our final video on this lesson, you know, just because we can create data, how do we get to see it real fast? Well, you have to be able to print this to the screen. And there's, notice that this says for each var C2 encodes. And then what I do is I do a system diagnostics debug print. You need to go investigate this object because there's a lot of methods that are available like write, write line, write line if. It's incredible. So take a look see at this and see if you can use that. And here for I'm going to be looping through this and I'm going to take out that first one and I'm going to put it into C2 and then I'm going to print out the code and description. Now how do we get to see this output? Notice that you can come here and say debug window output and it's this window here. You can hit this little X to clear it and then uh, let's set a little breakpoint here. 
and hit the go. And my output will come here. Let's clear it. And notice that I'm on my four each. And then I'm just going to hit the F10 button. And notice it just loops through that. So white glove, leave door, and the last one. And we are done. Hey team, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it. Now, if you could like this video, subscribe to it, and give me a thumbs up, would truly appreciate it. Have a great week. Thank you.